Hey, and welcome back to Fan Talk. Today we are going to take a look at Charlie's Angels trailer number two. Trailer two. We're just going to jump straight into it and then have our, we'll talk about it afterwards. You are in the presence of angels. No Drew Barrymore? That's it, I'm out of here. Hello? You're in great danger. Get out of there now! Open safe house six. Welcome to the Townsend Agency. I run a covert group of exceptional women. So you guys are like lady spies. We work outside the rules. I don't like that, boy. In secret, together. You may not know we exist, but we are always watching. Who steals humanitarian aid money? You are in the presence of angels. So, you want to train to be an angel? Hell yeah. Give me my wings. Let's go! Where do you think you're going? You need to land this bird, Hoffman. What? Later! <laughs> down keep your hands where I can see them you're really not supposed to be touching things in here unless you're supposed to be touching things in here you're adorable Jane is that you flirting with a handsome nerd the best part is in taking down international criminals it's you guys and the day drinking that's what I like the most <laughs> <laughs> Take whatever I want. Borrow. Baby. Is that an actual rule? <laughs> Angel. Time to go to work. Okay. November. Right around the corner. Um, it looks like they had a lot of fun making it. Yeah, I mean, it's... It looks like a fun flick. I mean, uh, I'm not a huge Charlie's Angels fan, but uh, it's kind of... Previous movies were fun. It was before my time, you know, so it's like... Oh, the original uh, stuff? The original okay. stuff, and so I don't have that hardcore tie-in and love for it. And the, the movies, the the original movies that came out... Cameron Diaz, Drew Barrymore. Yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of those movies. I didn't hate them. They were entertaining. They just weren't like, you know... It was before the action movies really just started taking off and going over the top as well. They're just kind of regular action movies. Yeah. But uh, he does look like a lot of fun. Looks like he has some good humor. Uh, and, uh, you know, who doesn't like day drinking? Yeah. <laughs> Patrick Stewart's always a win. Yeah, Patrick Stewart's great. I can't wait for uh, some Picard. Man. Yeah, no kidding. He actually looked better. I He looks better in this than he did, does in the Picard trailers. Well, in the Picard trailers are trying to make him look, look old, and old, and, old and grizzled. And he is getting older. And in this movie, obviously. Got ever have hair? Yeah, they're, uh, <laughs> they're, they're trying to make him look a little bit younger, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks like it'll be yeah. a fun, fun film. We'll see. Uh, looks like a female director. It looks like uh, they did that. Uh, you know, just the women cast a lot better than some of the other movies I've seen recently, like you know, Ghostbusters, and you know, not dog and woman cast at all. That's not my point here. I'm just saying that some of those movies recently haven't done as well as expected. I'm hoping this one does well. It's a great trailer. It looks like it's hitting its target audience really well, and it looks like it's going to be a fun movie. Well, it looks like they go into a bit more like this is a you know spy agency as opposed <coughs> to the other ones where it's like oh. Well, Bosley is our handler, and he tells us to go do this. Yeah. Well, and also, you know, you talk about, like, there's other films that you're bringing up. The difference in this is Charlie's Angels was a film, uh, the story is a well-wrote story about female agents, where a lot of these other films these days lately, where they're giving us a whole female cast, it's giving you a whole female cast for this, for the exact political reason of having a whole female cast. If you have a great story, you don't it really... It shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter. You don't care that they're all females, uh, or they're all males, or they're all Hispanic, the or thing black, the, the or whatever. The Ghostbusters, they could have had a mixed gender group of Ghostbusters. It shouldn't yeah. matter if the story underneath is good. Exactly. If the story isn't good, then nobody's going to care. Even if they're all guys or all girls. Girls, it doesn't matter. Exactly. And, uh, you know, it's, it's something that, like, I feel like, you know, like with anything, like any kind of agendas, when people start trying to push them too hard, it's like, hey, you know what? You want to have, have a story to tell, right? Tell the story. That's how you win people over. Good storytelling. Yeah. Hitler. 
Great at telling stories. <laughs> okay, I think we put an analogy a step far yeah. there. <laughs> I'm just saying the guy was a great public speaker. If he hadn't been a great public speaker, he would have, been nowhere. He would have gotten nowhere. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Way off course. <laughs> Way off course, folks. Sorry. That's a good spot as I need to wrap it up. With a <laughs> like and subscribe and not for, uh, you know, him. <laughs> for us. All right, thanks for watching.